I think uh, personally for me it's, um, it's a massive achievement. Uh, my family also, it's, um, it's huge. I go down in history. But I've always said that um, this achievement, um, this uh, 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 it's an award if you like, it's in honour of all women of Sierra Leone. It's for our women folks. So my being president for the Sierra Leone Football Association, I, I dedicate it and I, I give it for all the women of Sierra Leone. I think it's a restructuring. Like you say, um, it's been fraught with problems in the past. And uh, these problems have been as a result of uh, poor administration, if you like. So what we are in the process of doing now is to totally, completely restructure the administration, uh, after which we will be actually looking, focusing uh, to the youth football development programs. In terms of infrastructure, yes, um, we're in the process of um, putting that together. FIFA has kindly fast-tracked um, uh, 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 an assistance, a financial assistance program for us that will enable us to rehabilitate the existing technical institution that we have now, our academy, which is in a, in a very poor state. So. I would like to leave Sierra Leone football with that legacy of having known that we've, we, we've promoted and we've developed youth football to as, um, a very decent state, an appreciable state, whereby maybe some of these uh, lads now will be the ones uh, we're showcasing internationally. Uh, female football also is something that's going to be a, a major focus. I don't think the women of Sierra Leone will ever forgive me if I, if I leave that office and I've done nothing f to promote youth um, female football. I would like to see a situation long term where we have a female football academy. We have our young ladies being taught comportment, education, combined with the talent. Um, and um, it would be also nice to see that we have uh, a lot more football playing on decent pitches. Education has always been an important um, element and it will continue to do so. We have an academy, like I said, that's in a pretty bad shape. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it'll be refurbished very soon. We have classrooms in there because I suspect and I know that that is what it was meant for. It was an academy in the true sense of the word of education and the pitch was there and uh, you, you play the football. So we will be bringing in a lot of educational programs through uh, NGOs like UNICEF. We're looking forward to working with the UN as well. Both um, in terms of empowering young women um, educationally and also in terms of changing the, uh, the concept that, that the way um, Africans, African women look at themselves in terms of I can't achieve, I can't get there, I'm not educated enough or it's not my place. Um, especially in, in football, I don't think there's anything or any young woman should feel at a young stage, at the age of 13, 14, that there, there are certain professions that are only for, for men. Only the men can achieve that. I think a, an academy would, would help them to be a lot more positive and confident about each other. So, you know, with the sex education, you don't have to go get yourself into trouble because, of course, everything stops at that point for our young women in that society. In Europe, maybe not. Um, you just go on after, but in Africa, it all stops at the age of 14, 15, if, if you should 
fall into that, that situation of getting pregnant. So we would be bringing um, sex education and definitely um, more education to empower them. Thank you.